Hello everyone, B Cross here, and today on this episode of Pelt World, what I'm gonna do is show you a tutorial on how I built the farming side of this. I did get a request in the comment section, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I at least set up the foundation for it, and everyone could you decorate or organize it as they like. Now, unfortunately, my game bugged out, so I actually had to restore a backup, and I ended up rebuilding this entire base. So it is slightly different than last time. I did reorganize a little bit of it. So over here, you can see I put all of the farming uh, props in the four different sections. And then I readjusted the hotel. So it kind of looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I evened it out a little bit, so it's a lot more symmetrical. I think it came out nice, but it is still not decorated in the inside. And over here, I just have all of the uh, general store and all the crafting tables that we need. So now we're going to go over here. So we're going to get off our jet rag again, and then we're going to go ahead over to this section over here. So what we want to do is try to line up. Let's go ahead and grab some supplies first, actually. Let's see. We need let's go with a lot of stone. Let's see, we could do a hundred for now. That should be good enough to at least get the base started. Then eventually I'm going to set up, uh, I'm going to set up. Uh, storage box over here to fill up with resources so the first thing we need to do is set up a foundation and we're just gonna like line it up here and just keep going so it feels like it's far enough where the pal box will kind of overlap it you'll you'll get warning signs for it so if i go ahead and build a pal box up oh, i can't build it i need wood and peldium so let's go and head back i did grind a lot and farm a lot so i do have a quite a bit of resources Need one of those and then where's the wood? Do I even have any wood in here? Oh, there's our wood. That's good enough. Alright, so I think this is plenty far enough over here. It's actually probably further than needed. So say I'm gonna put the pal box right. Let's see, can I put it up here? I think I need to uh increase the foundation first. Let's go ahead and just do that. Do that, and then let's see if it lines up nicely so it still says it's too close to another base so how far is too close so it's about a few more feet so let's go ahead and place a couple more foundations right there looks good let's go and just add these here now let's see where we could put our pal box so where right now what, what i want to do is kind of line it up with the other pal box so let's see too close let's see how far we have to go about right here so this is i'm trying to keep it as close to the other pal box as i can so this is too close right here is going to be the ideal spot so i'm going to toss in our lucario over here to go ahead and build that so now let's go and take an overview to see if it lines up nicely this one actually overlaps the ocean quite a bit i did adjust this i should have pushed it further back so what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to move it back a little bit because there's a lot of wasted space here in the in the ocean. So now we have like a kind of a pathway. You might have to reorganize the pathway. Maybe we'll readjust it in a, in a way that it makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a foundation over here. We might actually have to lift it up. I think on my other base, it is further back this way. Probably around this area. Let's see. So from here, what I kind of want to do, let's go ahead and demolish these, and then we're going to lift up from here. So we're going to put a pair of stairs right there, and then let's go ahead and put the foundation up here. So it is an elevated spot, especially since it's going to be on a hill, so we want to build it high enough that it goes up on the hill. So we're going to build a 3x3 three three over here. That looks pretty good, and then we'll just adjust from there. So let's go ahead and see if we can build a pal box. Oh, I need to demolish this one. Okay, a lot of stuff that broke. If I put it right here, can I move it closer this way? Could, I could move it closer this way. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and build foundations. I think because it's going at an angle, it's going to have... It's going to be able to readjust it. Oh, I'm out of stone. Let's just go ahead and... Let's demolish some of this down here so I can reuse it. 
We're just trying to find the perfect spot for our pal box. So now let's go ahead and build our pal box. Let's see, too close to another base. So right here is going to be the closest we could get it. Put it right there, and then let's go ahead and take a look again. Let's see how that works out. So right now, it barely, it's pretty close to the ocean. So now we have plenty of space to work with here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build. I'm going to go ahead and build this. And then I'm going to set up a storage box over here. And then load it up with resources so I could build the, the rest of the foundation and the base. So I will be right back. All right, now I filled up our inventory with a lot of resources. Now I believe I will have enough for the rest of this build. Hopefully I don't. I went ahead and just moved a bunch of stuff over from our other base since I brought over a bunch of our supplies from there. So I'm going to go ahead and just complete this foundation. Now what I want to do is just basically get This is going to be like a multi-story or just a two-story base. So ideally there's only going to be two levels. So I'm going to visit downstairs and an upstairs area. So I'm going to just try to build this foundation. Oops, not right there. I'm just going to lay this foundation all the way to the edges of the base. You can see the blue line over here. So right now I'm not worried about the trees. I'm going to cut the trees out later. It looks like... Oh, jeez. It looks like it does go a little bit higher over here. So I'm going to have to address that later. But I could probably just leave that as grass area. Unless I want to make a third layer up. I think it should be fine. So what I'm doing right now is just... Oh, there's actually quite a bit of space up here. So I'm going to... Figure that out a little bit later. So I'm just going to keep building the foundation all the way to the edges of the border. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and clear out the trees because there's a lot of trees in the way. Looks good. We're almost there. Let's see. Are we lined up yet? We are. So I'm going to go ahead and build this way now. Let's see. Oh, it looks like there's something down here. Let's go and get rid of this. Oh, this has already been cut by Anubis, so that works out. Yeah. There we go. There's a couple more holes right here, so let's go and fill in this gap over here. It does make an odd sound when I have the, the minigun while I'm placing stuff down. Alright, so now that's the entire platform right here, so I'll... What we're going to do is just cut all these trees to get them out of the way. So I'll be right back. All right, now I'm back. So I went ahead and cut down the, all the trees. And then I also laid down the foundation here at the bottom part. So we're just kind of laying down the whole thing. So just so we can see what we're working with. Now up here, I think it's going to be an issue because the trees are going to constantly grow back and I'm going to need to block it off. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build a foundation going up this hill also. But this time I don't want to make it too high because if I end up... I end up making stairs like this and a foundation right here. It's kind of high, so I don't really want it to be like that. So what we can do here is just go ahead and like elevate a little bit. Let's see where the highest point is. Highest point's about right. Let's see. Right there. So this about this point right here. So this looks like a good height. So I'm going to build it maybe right here. That looks good right there. And what we're going to have to do is maybe remove this one. So we could put stairs. So this is kind of like a half built stairs right here. Oh, it's not really straight. So we're going to have to redo this again. So it just because I want it to be lined up pretty nicely. Let's see if I could do it this way. There we go. So let's see. There. It is lined up. I kind of want to lift it higher. I don't think that's high enough. But at least it's straight. That looks good right there. That might be a little too close. Let's find out. So this one's just kind of be turning into like trial and error. So I'm going to remove that one so it doesn't get in the way. There we go. Uh, it looks like it does cross over. So I'm not going to be able to put the foundation right here. So we just need to move it back a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Let's see. Lift it up a little bit. I'm going to make sure it's lined up. Does that look good? You lift it up right there. Now let's see how this goes. Hope it's still 
still overlapping. I think I think I just put in the same spot. So I'm gonna try to do it right here. There we go. Alright, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to line this up pretty nicely. Alright, I think this is pretty I think this is good enough. There's a little bit of gap right here, but I think that works out. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and build the foundation up here so it's it's not too high. But it will prevent from all these trees from growing. See it? That looks good right there. Let's see. It does look like it's kind of going at an angle, but the reason the issue here is because the grass is kind of curving inward. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully, the trees don't grow in the middle of them. So I'm going to go ahead and place stairs in all of these. But in order to put the stairs, I need to remove all of these foundations. Just so they're not overlapping. Wrong button. There you go. It does look like I built it at an angle, but I you know I think it's good enough. Oops, wrong button. Let's see, what is it overlapping with? Is it the tree? Is it me? I'm not too sure which one this is overlapping with. Maybe one of these trees is getting in the way. Let's go and chop these guys down and see how it goes. Alright, so I don't know what's going on with this one, so maybe I'm just going to remove this one. Oh, it's this piece right here. That's... I missed the foundation that I need to remove. Alright, there we go. So that should solve the problem. There we go. Now, with that being the case, I could go ahead and put this foundation back. There we go. So, so there might be a couple of trees popping out, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the other trees just so they don't get in our way from our build. So I'll be right back again. All right, now, so from here, it looks like we have a good three layer base right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I need to set up all the pal beds. So all the pal beds are going to go up here, but I want to build like a little bit of barn area. So I'm going to actually the first thing I want to do is create a walkway, just the walkway to get through the base. So since I built the other side out of wood, I'm going to build this side out of wood as well. So let's go and put jet rag in a way. Let's see if I could do this from the circle. Would I be able to reach? So you might be able to reach that far. So let's go ahead and put the wood foundation. The wood foundation is just pretty much like a... Let's see. The wood foundation is basically a walkway. I might have to try to fiddle with that edge piece right there as well. The way I usually like to do is I like to make it go straight into the power box. So it's going to go this way. That way, so we're gonna just go ahead and put this pathway here. There we go. And then from here, I'm gonna build stairs here. So, what I want to do here, because of this area, I don't really like the look of the bottom side of the foundation. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a stone roof and just kind of cover it, cover this area right here. So, I'm gonna just build this all the way across. And I'm going to close it off on both sides. Just put a door on both sides in here. But down here, I'm going to be able to like hide stuff in here. Oops. So all the, all the uh, decoration pieces that help improve stuff, I think I'm going to go ahead and hide it underneath here. Just like I did on the other base. Just going to do this. Get rid of that piece right there, and then let's go and put a door right here. There we go. Now it looks really nice right there. So let's go ahead and build stairs here. Let's put a lot of stone. Go, and then I want to cover up the bottom side. I think it looks nicer when it's covered up. There we go. So now we have a pathway here. So this entire area around the uh, pal box is going to be stone. I don't 
probably remove this one and turn this one into, into uh, wood as well because this will be a pathway. And then from the pallet box, I could. I'm gonna make a pathway going back. Let's see. Pathway going this way. So that leads over here to the. Which I'm gonna make a barn and I'm gonna make a pathway down here. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna need to put a pathway down here. It probably lines up because it is three, three, three across. So this is where I'm gonna build the luxury luxury account condos over here. Here we have a really good view of the new island, the mountaintop, as well as the uh, the world tree. I don't actually remember what they call it, so I'm just gonna keep calling it the world tree. Okay, so from here we want to build a barn over here. Or what I usually just build is. My usual stone foundation or stone bottom walls. I'm gonna make it all the way along our, across. Looks like it actually ends right here, so I might actually have to do it this way. So it stays within the border of the base. Over here as well, so we'll see how many beds it could fit into here. Like that, and then the top half is gonna be wood. Now we'll have this little section over here on the side. Um, I think this is where we're going to put the, let's see, where is it? Under infrastructure, this is where we're going to put the hot springs. Let's see if we could sneak it out right here. Maybe we could destroy these walls. But there is space over here, so probably sneak it up. Let me pick these guys up since they're in the way. Let's see, I'm going to curve it inward so it's like within the borders. That facing this way, so the entrance is this way, so they could go ahead and access this. Same thing over here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just demolish these, and then I could put another hot spring on this side. Let's see. Kind of awkward. Let's see. How do I want to do this? It's a little bit awkward because there's a lot of this space right here that's wasted, but that's okay. We'll just stick with one hot spring for now. Now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and put a roof. Let's see. Let's just make it, let's just make it all out of wood. I'm going to climb up here so I could put top roof. So this one's going to stay here because this is where we would put a ceiling light if we wanted to put a ceiling light up here. Now I'm just going to be covering one side. I'm not going to be covering the back side of this. Since it is for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it open. Oh, I made this the wrong way. There we go. Wrong way. There we go. Did I do this right? All right, I did that side correctly. So now we have like a little, little barn type area right here. We might actually have to remove this top part. So I'm going to go ahead and remove like the two center pieces. Oh, maybe just... Oh, it might just be a little off shape. Let's see. It does look kind of weird like that. I don't think I can build out here because of the border. I might just do it this way. Just leave the middle area open and then here we could just put all of our pal beds. Let's see. Where's pal beds? Infrastructure. Oh, we need cloth. All right, well, I'm gonna, I could go ahead and put that there later. So basically, this is going to be the house for all of our pets. So we could get a good amount of pal beds here. So there's about six spaces across. You could probably get two in each of them. So you could probably get at least, let's see. You could get at least all 20 beds up in this area. You're just going to have to bunch it up a little bit. Now on this side, let's see. I do want to see. I don't think it's going to work out though. What I'm going to do is probably do this and then just turn this into a foundation. Do it like that. I wonder if I could get away with this actually. Let's put in stone let's put in uh stone roofs instead. And then would I be able to put this down here? Nope, it's gonna overlap. So at this point we're gonna put pillars. Go and remove these guys for now and then put our pillars. Let's see. There we go. Now, 
Can I put the foundation back here? I can't. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. It's this one. Nope. It's this one. There we go. And then we can put these foundations back. I think that looks a little bit nicer that way rather than just having the foundation popping out and over here we could go ahead and put another let's see high quality i feel like we're gonna need at least two high quality hot springs for for the amount of pets that we have so i'm running with 15 pets max per base so it but i think that two hot springs will be able to cover all of them Alright, so this is basically our pet house right here. Now what I want to do here next is, um, I think I'm gonna... Let's see, I already made all of this out of stone. So what I want to do is actually make this a walkway. I'm gonna remove all of these and this is gonna be a, another walkway. So I'm gonna turn this into wood. There we go. Same thing on this side. This wood. I'm out of here so I won't get trapped inside. There we go. So now we have like a walkway here. Then we have a walkway on the other side of here. That looks good. Now, I also want to make a walkway over here as well. So, but this is basically what we're going to be working with. We have a walkway to the other base up here. Then we can go upstairs here, and then we're going to go ahead and have a lot of space over here. Now, this is where you can really be creative on how you want to do everything. Typically, I want to keep all the food closest to where the pals sleep. So I could just build it around this area right here. So I'm just going to show how to stack one set of one set of food. So what we're going to need is a wooden bench. So ideally, I'll probably take all this area right here and turn this into like farming right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put bench right here. Get that built. Go we'll get another bench. That should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Lucario away because he's gonna get in the way when I start laying all of these down. So we're gonna what we're gonna do here is let's see, it's gonna do the lettuce plantation. So what you're gonna do is aim it at the benches. Then you're gonna jump and place it at the same time. Then you'll delete a bench, grab another lettuce farm, and then jump and place it again, and then you could remove the last bench. And put the last one on the floor. Now you have a three stack right here. You could go up to four. I think four is plenty enough. I think three is will be enough to take care of all it all your food needs. Unless you want to overstock, then you can do that. So this is basically three three lettuce plantations, and then you can also do it over here as well. But I'm, for for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna place it down on the floor instead of trying to stack them all. There we go. So you have space for all of your production here. Now on this side, what we can do is uh, you can put your ranches over here. So ideally, you probably realistically you could get away with just one. You could actually just put it on this side as well, so it could keep all the food together. Stay right here. One right there. Let's see. Maybe put one right here as well. There we go. And what we could actually do is turn this into a, a pathway as well. So it might be actually easier to do this first. So you could line everything up with this walkway right here. There we go. So now we have a pathway here. So if the farm on one side, then we have the ranches on the other side. So at this point, we could go ahead and actually move them closer so it looks a bit nicer 
So let's go and put Lucario away, and then let's go ahead and put our ranches again. So the first one's gonna be over here. Really line it up closer to the wooden pathway. Look at that. So now you have two of these right here. We could put a pathway over here as well. Let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be a wooden foundation on this side. There we go. Then from here, wooden foundation and then two stone stairs. Now we have a pathway up here. It goes off to like our ranch and pal area. So this can be our farm. It's going to be our ranches. This area. Now down here, what we can do... Put this here. Let's cover these up. I don't know if I have enough stone. I do have enough stone so I could go... I could step outside and build it. There we go. So over here, what I want to build is... It's going to be the cold food box. It's going to have to be this one. Oh, we need plasteel for this one. So I'm going to go... Let's go and grab some plasteel. I have plenty of plasteel since I farmed quite a bit of it. Let's see. Just take half of it. That should be good enough. Now the reason why I'm putting the food box over here, the cold food box right here, is because this is gonna also also count as our fridge. Because the food box actually has a lot of space. So basically what they're going to do is, once they farm, they have a little bit of a way to travel. So they're going to have to travel all the way here to put into this box. So there is a lot of space here for food. So the first box is basically what all your pals are going to eat. Now from here, we're definitely going to need to do all of our production, our food production lines here. So we're going to have to put, let's see, where are they? Not the crusher. We're going to need to... We're going to need two mil two mills because this is what we're going to do for wheat. Keep forgetting I can line it up like that so it can line it up nicely. And then we're also going to need... Let's see... Where's the kitchen? It's going to be under food, I believe. An electric kitchen. I don't have charcoal over here. Oh, I forgot to grab that. Anyway, so this, this is where we would put all of our food production benches here. All of our crafting here, so... We have the mills for the wheat, and then we'll have a cook, uh, kitchen here to cook all the food. And in any other uh, facility we need, we could put it along this area. Now, what we could put over here, here, because we have a lot of space over here, this is where we could put, let's go and put the car away. This is where we could put the, uh, the breeding facility. So there's a ranch. Let's go with breeding. Where is that? Um... Right here, breeding farms. So right here, we should have plenty of space. So what we're going to do is... We're going to line it up with with this pathway right here. So let's see how we could do that right here. Move it closest to the right side. There we go. And then I'm pretty sure we should be able to fit another one over here. But we're gonna have to build... Oh, it doesn't look like we can. It doesn't look like it, that's gonna fit. Alright, so let's go... Let's rethink this. I don't think it's gonna fit right here. So maybe what we do is... We put one breeding farm over here. So this is where your creativity comes in place. So we could put one breeding farm over here. And then we could put a ranch right here on this side. Let's see. Can we fit it? We're gonna have to move this closer to the edge. It looks good. And then we can put the ranch right here. There we go. That works out. The same thing over here. So it's gonna delete this and then we're gonna have to Let's see, where should we put the pathway? Should we put the pathway up here or should we line it up? I think ideally we would just line it up. I think it would look nicest if we line it up. Let's go ahead and put our foundation, our wooden pathway here. And then from here, we could go ahead and put all of our breeding and ranch. So 
Here's our breeding. Let's see how far right we could breed it. That looks about it. That looks like how far we can bring it. And then let's go and put the ranch right here. Theoretically, we only need one ranch. We don't actually need two ranches. But I do have two ranches and two breeding yeah. on my other base. So with this being the case, this back area here isn't going to be, isn't really needed as a walkway. So it's basically going to go all the way across to the other side. So we could turn this all back to stone. But I'm just going to leave it as is right now. So it could be like the backside to these ranches. Or I could flip them around facing this way and the ranches face that way. So it's separate from the food. So, so that looks good like that. So now down here, we have plenty of space to work with. So on this side over here, we could really put any kind of decoration we want. We could even build a whole bar section right here. I, I do like building bars. But yeah, we have plenty of space over here. So now what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to go ahead and build our hotel. The first thing we want to do, we're going to go ahead and build a glass wall. This is like a reception area. Let's see, do we have space more from our foundation? It doesn't look like we do. So I'm going to build it right here. Uh, I went ahead and grinded so I could unlock all the furniture. So I could put this desk instead. This feels more like a receptionist desk. So I'm going to put it right here. And then let's go ahead. What I've been doing actually is using this guy up. Oh, we don't have cloth, so we can't really build that. I really need to go pick up some cloth. Should have picked it up when I was over there. But that's okay. So we'll just get around to that next time. This is kind of our receptionist person right here. And same thing like the other hotel. I'm going to make this back section out of glass. Let's see, I'm going to make it too high. Can't line up to that? No, I can't. So that's fine. That's, we're going to leave it like that for now. What we want to do is build the other sides first. So the first house is going to be on this side. It's going to put a door. Let's see. I'm just going to put it right. I guess we'll put it right in the middle. Into over here. This feel a little uneven. I wonder if I could build a foundation right here. It does say out of the out of the side of the base. So similar to my other base, one side is actually smaller than the other. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and erase these sections right here. So what we're gonna do is gonna put a window here. That looks good. Maybe a window here. And put a back door right over here. Actually, actually, let's flip that over there and then a door right here. And on this side, we're going to put a stone wall. Looks like it's outside the base here as well. So what we're going to have to do is this. This stone wall right here. And then because I like making glass, glass walls, I guess I did build too far this way. Because now this is starting to shrink down a little bit. Alright, so let's see. How can we build this? Foundation right here. Stone wall. So this is going to be a, a smaller house right here. So let's see. Go ahead and build. Actually, these are supposed to be glass walls over here. So this could be like a little nook area. A little dining area or uh maybe make this a bathroom with a glass wall there we go and then as usual i'm gonna go ahead and put the wooden top part up oh, i forgot to put this section right here might have to put lucario away because i just feel like he's gonna get in the way at some point so this is a kind of a smaller house has a Doorway over here. This place leads to like the receptionist area. And then we're going to have a door back here. And this is like a doorway that's going to lead to the beach. So here I'm going to put a wooden wooden platform. So here it looks like a little pier area. I'm going to put a wall right here. I'm going to put like a half wall actually. Like that. So it's kind of like a private back er, private dock right here for the house. So now we can go ahead and go up here and start building the roof. Go ahead and just do this real quick. Wrong one. 
Long spot. There we go. And here, since it is a two-piece one, it could actually end up being a triangle area. So this is actually working out nicely. I feel like it lo looks much nicer if I do it this way where it's an actual triangle rather than that bald spot that ends up on the top. I think it looks kind of odd, but you can kind of work with what you got. There we go. And now we have this little area right here, which could feel like a little chimney or whatnot, but I'm going to leave that alone. Let's go take a look how that looks. It looks like it looks really good. There's a house right there. And then we have over here. Let's go ahead and build this side as well. This side might be a little bit bigger. Do this and then let's go and do the glass balls. Right here is out of the area as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. So this is going to have like a little nook area as well. So it's pretty much kind of matching the other one. So it kind of works out. Uh, I want to make this out of glass because I like having glass walls facing the ocean. So we have a nice good ocean view right here. And then over here we're going to go ahead and put let's see, window. I'm going to put a door so they'll have like a little balcony area. And here we'll just close it off with walls. Now per usual, I'm going to put the wooden tops. There we go. Going, going ahead on the outside area. Let's go ahead and turn this into wood. And maybe give this side a pair of stairs going down to the going down to the beach. So they have a little nook area going down to the beach. And then that's the other side. We're gonna go ahead and put this kind of blockage point right here. So it is a little bit more private. So now let's go ahead up here and go ahead and put the roof on. So if I put a roof in the inside again, I'm going to have to fix that later. There we go. Let's go on this side. But for this side, I'm just going to keep it on top. I'm not going to hang it loose down, Lee. Down just because like, it's really a matter of preference at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and put roofs over here as well. There we go. And then I'm going to put glass up here. There we go. That looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a glass roof. See, that's kind of looking nice right there. So now we have two houses right there. Oh. Just to make it even, I'm going to make this a window. Let's see, I built something here. There we go. That's what I built by accident. Grab Lucario in there. There we go. So that's starting to look nice. We got a little condo area over here. So we have the two houses. We have the receptionist. And then we can really decorate in this area as we like. So this is basically the foundation for this side of the base. This is... Purely a farming base. This is to gather food, cook, for breeding and ranching here. So I think it came out pretty nice. I feel like it came out a little bit more organized than our other base. But at this point, you can always just finish the decoration on however you like. You, you have lots of space along this edge of the wall right here for decorations. You have lots of space to put every, anything else you would like to put. You could build a bar. You could build any other decorations you like. You also have this section right here as well. So it's a smaller area. Or you could put additional farms if you want to over farm crops. That would work out as well. So with that being the case, then you could really cook a lot of stuff. So there's, let's go to the kitchen over here. Did I build a kitchen over here? I don't think I built one here. Anyways. Yeah, so that is how you build the foundation for this side of the base. Thanks everyone for watching. Goodbye.